Charles Schulz feel about putting his characters on television? Well, I think he was a little a little apprehensive. He didn't quite know. You know, when you're a cartoonist, you have control of everything. You you there's nobody there's nobody else you have to deal with. But because it, the commercials had come out well with Bill Melendez in the late uh, 1950s, he knew they could be animated and he knew what they would sound like. And he was very he was a very competitive guy. He would like to go out and ch and and challenge things. And so uh, when we did the minute on the documentary, he liked that. So he had he really wanted to do it if we could you know if we could sell it. And um, once we got started, he was he was quite uh, at home with it. There was no problem. It was a very close amiable partnership, and we all discussed uh, uh, every aspect of it. Um, I do remember I said that the first meeting, once we started production, now you know we're going to have to have a laugh track. Because in those days, everybody had laugh tracks, particularly the cartoons. And I remember he stood up and said, I quit. And he walked out of the room, half serious, half kidding. I looked at Bill and I said, what does that mean? He says, that means there's going to be no laugh track. And um, But other than that, I don't recall any uh, disagreements. Um, uh, I think because we each respected what each other did. The animator did the animation, and I would do the voices and the directing, and he, he would do the outlines, and we'd all do the storyboards. And the fact that we lived in different cities, so we didn't fight a lot, helped. And so we really had no trouble. I don't think we had an argument in 40 years amongst ourselves. How did you come up with the storyline for the show? For, for, for which, Ch Charlie Brown Christmas. Well, the storyline for Charlie Brown Christmas was at that first meeting, that whole outline when we had to send it down to Coca-Cola. And um, just about everything you see in the show came from that from that meeting. And the the idea that it would be a Christmas play, the idea that there would be a small Christmas tree that wouldn't quite make it, and then the true meaning of Christmas, those were the three threads, and then the music added to it because we had all the dance scenes. It just kind of evolved from that original outline. And of course, when I wrote the words down on an envelope for Christmas time is here, we had no idea, as I had mentioned earlier, that it was going to become a Christmas standard. And so everything just fell into place. It was very serendipity the way it worked out. What about the religious aspects of that show? Well, he, uh, Sparky was a, Schultz was a very religious man, and uh, frankly, none of us thought anything about it. Um, it just came naturally because it was about Christmas, and it just evolved. And uh, even though that was quite something in the 1965 to to do, or not, maybe even revolutionary, we didn't think anything about it. It came it came so natural, as the storyline evolved, that we didn't think there'd be any controversy or anything, or nor should there be. And there never and there never has been. 